What is up, guys? Welcome back. Yeah, but, like, why are we staring at the back of your truck? I don't know. All right, so... I told you guys we would get to some stuff. And... So, kind of here's kind of where we are. Um, Dorcas, she wanted a couple things. She's extremely nice. We've had many conversations on Messenger. She's always given me very helpful hints and tips. But uh, she sent us a ton of stuff for the goatees, for us. And I keep showing you guys these collars. Uh, she also wanted to let you guys know where her reach where our reach extends, because I had talked about that in a video. And she is in Australia. And we have actually shipped soap to Australia once. And whoever shipped the Hawaii shipment over the weekend, I think that was our first Hawaii. But she sent us these colors and a little bit of extra. So if we liked them, we could get more. And I really, really, really do like these. They're super nice. They're heavy duty. They're reflective. They're nice colors. And they all come with a bell. So I would love your guys' feedback on does everybody get a bell? Does only Struzel get a bell? Um, if everybody gets a bell, is it going to drive me totally insane because the entire goat herd will be jingling about? So these are quite sturdy. They have a really nice buckle, but obviously they're breakaway so if the goats do get hung up that it'll it'll pop off and we always keep them really loose anyway so that worst case scenario the goats can just slip their head out so she sent us these for the goaties and i think i will go ahead and order one more pack <sighs> she hooked us up with these for the chicky doodles uh, you guys know we, I just ran out of the Grub Terra grubs, so this was literally perfect timing. And these are also black soldier fly. And make sure I'm not too close to the camera and blocking. So we're actually going to take these up to the chickens and give those to the chicks. Two, a gigantic bag of goatee treats. For the lovely H to give to the goaties because I don't do treats for the goaties because well they try to kill you and then I do I like Starbucks coffee the flavor is great and I love French roast that's what I drink is French roast and I do only whole beans because I grind my own because I think it, it lasts longer tastes better is fresher when you grind your own I feel like I took something out of this box and I don't remember what it was. So if I did, Dorcas, I'm sorry, but thank you so, so very much. We're going to get immediate use out of everything. So let's go feed the chicken some, uh, some grubby grubs. Okay. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of insight into my redneck chicken door positioning for winter for deep litter. I'm always talking about that, but let's let the babies out first. I remember when Cog Hill was, uh, when they were still at their old farm, Jason spent days setting up his camera in front of the chicken door just to try to get the perfect shot of the chickens coming out I love that the babies just fly out as soon as you open the door all right y'all we have increased our chicken flock and I know it, it went fast so we had 20 and then we bought 10 and we're raising them up now and then we Pam gave us her chickens, which took us up to 40. I think we're actually at like 43. They're just knocking stuff over. So I know this is inadequate to feed all the girls. And they're kind of piling on top of each other, which I don't like either. 
So I, I am I am working on it. Things tend to move a little slow around the farm with everything else that's going on. So one in the big Now, Amanda, <laughs> I know I like to leave you guys hanging, but uh, the reason you guys can hear me, even though I'm not standing right in front of the camera as I'm walking away, is because someone else sent us some more amazing stuff, and we are going to show that tomorrow. Oh. Shout out, babies. I'm not very good at what I do, y'all, so just bear with me. Oh, be a tearaway that works well. No. Y'all, I don't just have scissors laying in my barn. Where do you think I'm feeding my chickens? This is like totally riveting video for you guys. I hate gloves. So I was watching this YouTube channel, and I was just sat there and watched this guy try to open this bag of chicken just bag of grubs for chickens I was watching some lady yesterday I don't know maybe it's because I was busy so I was processing orders but I was watching so much of her video not even it was like she was just planting stuff in a garden which I do enjoy all right sorry y'all got sniffles Oh, those are nice. They smell better than the Grubterra ones. Not that that's bad, but if you guys go back to my original Grubterra video and I opened the bag and took a giant whiff and then gagged. <laughs> Am I the only one that opens stuff and just takes a whiff? All right, last bit of chicken chickenry before I take care of them. So in the winter, what I'm going to do is I'll put this down here, which I just built out of two by fours and two by fours. It's not cold enough today, but I'll leave this like this just because. I go that out, put that there, take my redneck white trash broom handle kick it up in the door like that. I use this because it's very sharp on the end and when winter rolls around and this is icy and snowy it's about the best thing I found that I can just kick into the ice and it'll actually hold the door closed. So that's why I use that. That's why it's laying there. That's why it looks trashy. It is what it is. <laughs> I'm very much a function over form guy meaning if it works, I don't care if it's pretty. Now, I do get to a point where I'm like, yeah, can we just make a nice stick from the woods that's beautiful and put there because I get tired of looking at my broken broom handle. But I'm not there yet. When I get there, you'll, you'll see it. <laughs> Good morning. I got to show you guys something. You ever just do something? Hi, girls. Thanks for wasting so much hay. Just trot along in your normal life and and then an idea comes to you and you're like, duh. Well, duh. So as H and I were over here yesterday shooting for you guys for yesterday's video, President Snow, if you guys remember, I told you he had, he had tapeworms. We saw some tapeworms. And hi, buddy. Good morning. Good morning, bangs. Baby bangs. We decided we were going to go ahead and Valbazin. Valbazin is made for taking out tapeworms. So we decided we were going to go ahead and Valbazin the boys. Just because if one of them has it, probably all of them have it. And so <clears throat> we also think Drummy has. Because here's a little... Yep. And... So we were watching this little guy get run around and around and around and around by the big boys. They're just chasing him and messing with him. And Marlon was hiding under the barn. And so we're, we're 
concerned that he's getting bullied too much. He's not getting enough food. Hi, buddy. He's so pretty. He's such a pretty boy. You are. But we're concerned that he wasn't getting enough food. He wasn't getting enough hay because the big boys were beating up on him. And then on top of that, so now you're down nutrition and you're being run around by the big boys just thrashing. He is so soft. Sorry, <laughs> you guys know me, squirrel. Uh, so you add him not getting enough food and then the big boy's just running him around and around and around and around and around. And, you know, he's looking a little rough. I've never liked his body style, but I tend to not like the initial look of the babies that come from Puddin' and Muffin. Because they just have that sunken in, gangly, Jersey cow look to them that I just, I don't like in my goats. I like, uh, overall, I mean, I love all of our girls, don't get me wrong, but you kind of, you tend to have these short, stocky, dumpy, heavy hoofed, heavy bodied Nigerians which I love, even if they don't love me back. Sad face, sad face. And then you have your tall, skinny, it's a little harder to see because they're, you know, they're getting fat hair, but like Mama Frosty, uh, Licorice for sure, Mochi Mooney, Sparkle, the tall, Thin Nigerians. So I enjoy the heavier built goats. And a lot of the uh, pudding muffin babies have this skinny leg, gangly body, thin look. They kind of they're kind of built like their mamas. So the ones that come out built like their mamas kind of look like Marlin. And they don't really start looking like Snickers until, you know, they're a year old, 18 months old. So then they just look rough and... But you are beautiful. And then you miss stuff like how absolutely gorgeous he actually is. So what we did was we decided... That we would just, because Marlin is banded. Look how rough and grumpy you look. Oh, you're crunchy too. Hi, Snow. You're getting whiter, my friend. I know. He's really in, been enjoying this too. This little neck scratches I've been giving him every day. Hi. A couple times a day. Maybe two, maybe three, maybe 15. We don't count. <laughs> yeah, he has the softest fur. But we decided since he's banded and he'll be going on his three weeks of banding, I believe. I'd have to look. Um, but I think he's going on three weeks of banding. So one more week and we would be safe. And I actually was just having this conversation this morning with Pam who bought Mavi, a.k.a. Maverick, a.k.a. Baby Lester. Um, when they're banded... It's just a, it's a thick rubber band that looks like a donut. It's shaped like a donut. And you open it up and you put the testicles in there and then you close it. And that slowly cuts off the blood flow and flow in, flow out. And then the testicles just drop off. There's a chance after you band them, people tend to say roughly 30 days to keep them separated from your does. Don't put the band on and then throw them in with your girls. There's a chance there's one in the chamber or one slips past the rubber band and ends up coming out. The little aggressive little buggers, huh? Well, if you're going to be this little angel, we'll keep you. No, we can't keep any more bucks. So banding... Definitely keep them separated for, you know, uh, if you if you do research like I do, 
you end up, it's like freaking WebMD, you know, if you get a splinter and you go to WebMD and you're like, I have a splinter, what do I do? Uh, you're either going to die or you just need to pull the splinter out. That is what research is like, and I hate it because you get everything from the scrotum is going to fall off in seven days to 10 days to 14 days to 30 days to two months to four months. And it, of course, does vary. But all that being said, definitely keep them separated from your ladies. For as long as you feel comfortable for us, that's about a month. If I had to, in, a, in an emergency situation, I would say easily a couple weeks, I would throw them in with the girls. Now, we get to this. <laughs> Can we get both of your faces in, in one shot? Can we get you both in like this? Oh, why? Can we get your face in like this? Look at that face. <laughs> oh, my goodness. If you guys don't have goats yet get goats remember if you live in an apartment building you can get an emotional support goat times two um but he was surgically castrated so they just took off everything that even creates the sperm i don't know if i can say that um it's all gone they cut it out and there's no connections to where it's going to end up going to get to the ladies so once, I would say, once he pees, once you're good. There's nothing else going to be there that's available for for distribution. So I would feel comfortable putting him in with the girls on day one since he was surgically castrated. With the exception of his stitches, obviously. And he is looking really good. So we should be good there. But we thought... You know what? He needs a buddy, and this guy's getting uh, bullied over there in the in the buck pen. And so we are going to keep Marlon over here with the boys, or with the with the President Snow. And then when he's ready to get out, which should probably be in a few days, we will let them both out, and they will both be chilling with the ladies. <laughs> Hi. Oh, I oh did I not pet you enough? Okay. No worries. I'll give you more pets. Y'all, is it just the love? I think it's just the love. Like, if you give them the love, they just, they turn out like this. Not all of them. Some of them are still psychotic. Some of them are, 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 are very independent and not... Good morning. Thank you. So, if there was some confusion on the Cookie Don't Care shirt, I, I didn't think there was, but there apparently was some confusion. Cookie Don't Care will be in the December 2nd Etsy launch. It was never planned to be in this, uh, the November 4th launch. So, I'm sorry if there was some confusion there, but we will definitely get our hands on the shirts, and we will show you guys what they look like so you can decide if you want to buy them. But we are aiming for, yeah, you get her tower. Don't touch my mans. Oh. <laughs> All right, y'all. That is it. I kind of just wanted to bring you guys in on some gifts that people have sent us. I was horrible, horrible at that last year. And I do apologize to those people that sent us stuff. So this year I'm trying to be better at, at what's going on. Um... And showing you guys appreciation back for sending us stuff. We do totally appreciate it. And for those of you who went, look, you guys are naughty, like naughty children. I slipped the Amazon link in at the end of the video like I'm doing here because I didn't want anybody to see it. And then you guys all went and found it. And then I started getting emails about two minutes after the video came out that everything on the list was gone. Because you are naughty children, and you wiped out the list. Uh, and for those of you who were... Some of the items came up that they couldn't be shipped to uh, 
gift receipt items couldn't gift list items couldn't be shipped to an address it's because amazon right now is negotiating with some sellers i was looking into this this morning uh, sellers are not properly supporting the amazon uh, gift lists and so they are working that out is the current status uh so it can just everything that's on that list that doesn't qualify to ship it'll just sit there so no worries and i guess as soon as amazon gets that sorted maybe they'll let people know and that will be pretty much it for us so rye rye hey this little goober I know, you look like a fluffy stuffed goat. Somebody said that last night, and they nailed it. They are 100% correct. So I put him in. I thought last night, well, we got two boys over here. I'll put baby Ryan over here with the boys at night instead of being over there with all the girls. That little dude, he ran up this wall, and I don't even know, because goats. He ran on this, like on this ledge. He, he, got, he, ran, he jumped up over there ran this ledge this ledge like he had his little hooves like tick -a -tick -a -tick -a -tick -a -tick. ran this ledge jumped over ran this door ledge right here and then was jumping down over there and so i decided to go ahead and just take him out and put him back in with the ladies because his goal in life last night would have been to escape here get in there he wouldn't have been able to get in there and he would have just been out here all night whining hi you're ridiculous. You know that? Absolutely ridiculously cute. And you. <laughs> and you. And you. And you. And you. And that is all. I didn't want him to hurt himself. So I decided to just pop him back in here where he was comfy with the queen of comfort. Is that a shirt? Uh, I like keep it frosty. I like keep it frosty. Somebody threw that out, and uh, that would make an amazing shirt. Keep it frosty. Hi, Bubba. <laughs> Bye, guys.